Welcome, viewers of the Journal's Number Theory Video Abstracts. Uh, my name is Ken McClayman of Willamette University, and I'm presenting the abstract for my paper, Agala Shapray with Equality and P Tower Groups. The P Tower Groups in the title arise from the following construction. We begin with a number field K, form its Hilbert class field, P class field, K1, its Hilbert class field, K2, and so forth, Iterating this procedure and then defining the top of the tower to be k infinity, the union of all the fields constructed in this process. This is a possibly finite, possibly infinite Galois extension of k, and we denote the Galois group k infinity over k by g, the p tower group of the title. These groups are of significant arithmetic interest, but so little do we know about these groups that handed a random k and a random p, say that we know g to be non trivial. It is currently beyond our knowledge to decide if G is even finite or infinite. What we do know about proving such a group to be infinite comes from a single source, the famous Gallup Schaffrey inequality for pro P groups. There are various forms of this result, and historically, as the results have been more and more refined, we've gotten stronger and stronger information about when K, when a given K has an infinite P class field type. The aim of this research was to answer the question of where the inequality in the Gala Schaffrevich inequality comes from. In the paper, we introduce some new error invariants. A priori, these are defined in terms of a Jacobian map on rings of formal power series and non commuting variables. But there are reasons to think that these error invariants are of interest in their own right, namely through relationships to the notion of a mild pro P group recently introduced by John Labute. In any case, these error invariants indeed measure this, uh, this obstruction to equality. In the case of these error invariants all vanish, the classical Galois Shafrevich inequality becomes a Galois Shafrevich equality. In the paper, we generalize this situation to give a, an equality relating all the invariants attached to this group, even in the case that the error terms do not vanish. In the particular case that G is a finite P group, the case of particular interest to the class field tower problem, uh, we can place lower bounds on this series of invariants and obtain, as a result, a strictly stronger form of the Galois Schaffrevich inequality um, for, for finite P groups. As an application, finally, we deal with, we address the case that K is a quadratic imaginary number field and P is an odd prime. This is a case nearing solution. Uh, there are many cases in which we can show K to have a finite P-class field tower, many cases in which K is known to have an infinite P-class field tower, and the remaining cases we can say much about the group G. Namely, it is a two-generated, two-related pro-P group with one of three possible relation structures, the relation structure being defined by where the relations defining the group live with respect to a certain filtration of a, of a free pro-P group. Namely, the result we get is that such a group of this third possible relation type uh, satisfies a pretty large bound on its size. Namely, that such a group has to be at least uh, size p to the 23rd. For even moderate primes in the teens, this order is larger than the monster group. And further, it says actually more information about its commutator subgroup, that this is the bulk of the size, or at least this has a decent bulk to its size, the order of G prime is at least P to 21 for groups, again, of this third possible relation structure. In fact, no known finite P groups are known to satisfy all the restrictions we can currently place on such groups from occurring as P tower groups, perhaps giving evidence um, that these groups do not actually occur. Thank you for your time.